Hello everybody, I want to welcome you back to part 3 of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In this video we're actually going to uh, go up towards the mountain and the forest where that poor girl was dropped off. Like, 600 feet drop into those woods. Realistically, I don't think she's survived, but this is video game land and I'm sure she's going to be just fine. So what you need to do after getting the sword is you need to come up to this mountain here. No entry. The forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. So the bridge to get to where the forest is is out, but that's not a big issue for us. Link is badass and he's just going to go against all the rules because that's just what he does. And as you come up here you'll notice that the music actually fades away, I guess being that it is at a high altitude. And there's not really anything to collect up here, I don't think. I think we just go right to the forest. But if you want, you can take a look into the the blue, 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 blue sea and clouds and sky. And that's about it. Just lots of sky and lots of sea. Love the colors of this game. I think I've uh, said this before, but this is probably m one of my favorites, if not my favorite Legend of Zelda game ever. So anyways, just hop over that little gap in the bridge and come into this area here. And what a fluke. She got caught on a tree. So, yeah, she's okay. I guess we gotta go up and see how she is. Now, I don't know how Link plans to get her out of that tree, but, uh... We're gonna go try. This is our first enemy. Now that we have our sword, it's very easy to defend ourselves. Just go out in there and kill him. I think that's- I think that enemy's called a Moblin. I'm not very good with enemy names, so don't expect that out of me because I'm really terrible at remembering those those sorts of things. Although they're all they're all the same in all the Zeldas, the names carry over, but the enemies just look a little bit different. Anywho, now the game steps it up a little bit for us, and then drop in two of these moblins or these these enemies. And even even the enemies are colorful. I mean, they're evil and. They don't look very nice, but they're colorful. And once you defeat those two enemies and you've pretty much made the way safe, this girl is going to wake up. And like I said, I don't know how she plans to get out of that tree, but luckily the tree <laughs> did it for her. Ouch! <laughs> wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever, so... Where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! <laughs> I love this big guy. He's hilarious. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! You're safe! When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain. Huh. Wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. So this this is a rather fiery and, if I must also say, rude character. This is Tetra, as we just found out. And uh, she's alive anyway, so not giving us much thanks for saving her life, but... It, here comes Errol. I don't, I don't know why she's up here, maybe just to see if we were safe, because she was quite concerned about us. on impulse there because there's no way he's gonna reach that bird. Ugh, stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! So yeah, unfortunately our poor innocent sister just was kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time and she's gone, so... 
problems just keep adding up. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yes, I do. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates, the terror of the seas? Well, what do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? This is the postman from earlier. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, just who do you think you are? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Oh, <laughs> owned. Now, as my work entails del delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who's just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it was young Link here who saved you from monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Yes, thanks for giving me all the credit I actually deserve. Oh, and while I'm at it... I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little bit of help now, would it? Ha! Huh. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. So little Miss Bitch is gonna let us join her if uh, we bring a shield. So that's our next objective and like she has said, we will not be coming back here after she sets we set sail and she's actually telling the truth when she says it. It's very truthful. We will not be coming back here for quite a while. So what I do suggest doing is I do suggest um, putting the, all those pigs in the pen, stocking up on rupees if you want to do so before leaving, and also saying goodbye to your grandma. Now in the last video there was a treasure chest underneath this house over here just by the mountain and I didn't pick it up because I didn't know what was in it. Um, now there was actually there was actually 20 rupees in that chest. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know what it was, so I kind of stopped recording and just checked to see what it was. Um, I'm not going to open it now because I don't want to waste them. It is only 20 rupees, but like I said, rupees are extremely important in this game. You need a very large quantity of them much, much later on, and any little bit counts. So I'm just going to show you where that is if, in case you didn't tune in for the last episode. If you go under these, the little crawl space in this house here, there's a chest, and this chest has 20 rupees in it. Uh, I will be coming back for that later. But just to inform everybody, that is there if you're interested. Uh, I did grab the 100 rupees underneath Grandma's house, so that pretty much takes care of the two accessible chests in this area for the time being. So, um, with the little the little pig side quest and picking up uh, the rupees, getting my bag filled up, I'm pretty much ready to go. So. I'm actually going to go say goodbye to my grandma because I have to kind of break the news to her that my sister's disappeared. My house doesn't really look like it has windows, so I, I don't imagine that she was just randomly tuning in to see that, so.
let's go talk to our grandma and we, let's see if she also has a shield for us. What is it, Link? Please tell grandma what's troubling you. And and where's Arrow? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Oh, grandma, I wish that was the case. If you come up here, there's... Well, it used to be here. There was a shield hanging on the wall when we got our hero's clothes, if we remember that. And now it's gone, so... Grandma must have something to do with this. She must know what's going on. Link. Is this what you're looking for? I don't know how your grandma knows this, what's going on, but she obviously does. Take it with you. So we got the hero shield. This is this doesn't change in the new game plus or anything like that. This is the same shield that we would get as if we would get normally in a normal playthrough. Just to let everybody know. Oh, grandma's sad. I guess it is true. Arrow really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? I don't know, grandma. Regardless of the circumstances, though, our grandma's not going to stop us from going. She obviously knows we're going to go. I mean, we, this is our birthday. We just became a man, and sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do. I mean, this is probably probably the worst birthday Link has ever had in his whole entire life. But now that we actually have our shield and our sword, we are actually ready to go. Like Tetra said, as soon as we bring a shield along, we'll be allowed to go on her ship so just take one last look at outsets just remember if there's anything that you needed to do if there is feel free to make another save um well, not another save slot you can't do that but uh just make sure to maybe save and then just maybe check to make sure you didn't forget anything and with that talk to tetra again once you're ready Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yes. And a lot of you might not like the voice I give Tetra. And even if I do give her a crappy voice, I actually do like her, so... Don't be misled by that fact. She's just... I just think that she needs that voice for the time being as the bossy captain of this pirate ship that we are now actually a part of. Link's a pirate now. And we're leaving our small island of, I think, like 10 people live here probably in total. Good luck finding Arrow. Take care of yourself. Bye, everybody. Aww. And your grandma's- your grandma is out there by herself, saying goodbye. She just lost both of her grandchildren in one day, so... Your grandma's probably gonna be awfully lonely. Ugh, how much longer is this gonna go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. Wow, Ice Queen, much. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Hell no, Link's a hero. He's gonna find his sister. If it's the last thing he does. So now we're on the pirate ship, and we, we have control of Link again, and... We've started our adventure in our pajamas and our decrepit old shield, as Tetra put it, and our hero sword, so... If we listen to Tetra again... Listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck, you get in everyone's way! I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Alright, so we have to go below decks. I mean, Tetra, it's my birthday, can't you just let me sit on deck and look at the sky for a while. I mean, this this, this view is beautiful, and it's such a nice day outside. You're, re you're really gonna make me go below deck. 
Hmm, but Niku didn't make out half bad with you being the new Swabby and all. New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell ya. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. Ooh, so this Nico sounds like a big, fearless leader, although he's on the bottom of the ladder. He can't be that fearless and amazing and helpful. So your name's Link, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Now that I think about it though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. Well, like, I don't know what, what magical land you come from. I think these are a pretty unique set of pajamas. So the pirates don't really say much, uh, except for Tedger, who tells you to go and find Nico. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. Now that we're actually starting our adventure, there's no turning back to Outset Island at this point. We are going to go below decks, and we're going to go and talk to this Nico fellow and uh, see what he has for us to do. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later.